Hello there. Today I'm doing a bit of illustration in a printing sketchbook which I bought from Hobbycraft. It's uh, one of the C. White concertina books, the smallest one I could get my hands on, um, mainly because at the moment they're five pounds and you know I can just about justify that one. As you can see I'm I'd forgotten to turn the video on so I forgot to actually draw my foot I forgot to record, I should say, my preliminary sketch. Uh, I also pressed pause when I was outlining my snake, or in this case, my snake. Um, one of the what I'm using here at the moment is a Posca brush pen, which I didn't even realise Posca made. I saw on a website and I was like, oh my god, I must have some of these. The it's. I want to say I really enjoyed it, but actually it was a slight pain in the ass to use because uh, it just the paint just didn't flow very well. And I know they can't make it too runny because then you just make a complete mess of it. It's got like a special priming pump at the back, like um, if you've got a uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, Anyway, it's got a little primer up the back, so you know, you know when you've got like a retractable ballpoint pen type thing, and uh, that just starts the f paint flowing. Uh, it's a beautiful colour, really nice shade of red, but as you can see, it sort of comes out in a scrappy way. You have to use it very, very slowly, or you have to go over it a few times to get the density of colour that I was looking for. So yeah, so it wasn't quite what I was expecting from the Posca. But you know, it was okay, and I've got a few of them, so you know, it's it's worth sticking with for a while at least. Um, I coloured the snack with uh, with a couple of different shades of uh, colour pencil, just normal colour pencil, nothing special. Um, just because I wanted to make something that was a bit mixed media -y, not too you know not too much of one thing or too much of another so it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag here in this picture um, I'm not entirely sure why I went for the apple and snake but it just seemed appropriate for the first per page of this the also the first page of this isn't it really a proper page so it's um, where the book binds to the cover so that it's actually got a slight ridge around the part of it um, but I just thought it'd be fun to do something a bit sort of silly I think so now I'm just using ordinary felt felt pens to draw leaves on this one and I, don't know, I suppose I want to go for a bit of a depth in this and sort of you know the snake the apple the tree of knowledge um, probably a slight good omensy sort of brain moment in there as well so you've got this sort of he's not a big snake he's not a scary snake he's sort of a friendly snake and the idea is that he's not necessarily trying to tempt anyone he's just sort of saying look at this lovely red apple um, the irony, of course, is that this looks kind of like a Red Delicious, and it's one that I don't know about you, but I find Red Delicious apples some of the taste, most tasteless apples ever. Um, I'm not a big fan of Golden Delicious either, because they just seem to be a lot of sweetness and no actual taste. So there's something about the way that this is, a, you know, this is supposed to be a fruit of temptation, but actually it's probably a bit of a disappointment. Um, so the snake is subtle and dangerous I suppose but I don't really see this one as a dangerous snake this is sort of a I don't know I suppose like a slightly OTT salesman um, fairly attractive but not you know not to do harm just to do his job sort of thing um, and I've got using some alcohol markers here as well just because I wanted to get um, quite a few layers of the leaves so it does look as if there's some depth in the painting painting, drawing 
image illustration whatever uh, i'm hoping to do each of the concertina double folds as an image and have like a sort of maybe some kind of story theme or theme going on but i've not entirely decided what it is but that's where you know having the snake having the snake and the apple is quite a good idea because you know historically speaking or not so much historically but so i suppose socially speaking it's uh, an idea that people recognize as an early thing a uh, an idea of people sort of starting out and maybe not making the best decisions in the world um, and it's a nice little thing a little sort of blue sky and maybe a little sort of slightly greenish yellow halo um, just to make it a tad more interesting than it would be otherwise but then I quite like the idea of having I don't know I suppose a gentle glow because even if the snake is biblical um, and therefore you know the serpent being Lucifer or something that's still born from an angel no matter what um, the irony of course is that I'm not in any way religious I am actually pretty much a dyed in the wool atheist not spiritual or anything but I quite like the fact that it's a story and an idea that most people can recognise um, and I think there's some sort of universal the idea of you know not being allowed things and human nature being what it is that it doesn't take much temptation to get us to go and find the thing we're not allowed and have a good prod you know things that men were not meant to know generally things that people really 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 want to know and there's nothing quite like being told you can't have something to make it more attractive So I'm trying to draw at least the illusion of scales here um, and give the snack some three-dimensionality but it took ages and that hence all the uh, why the actual videos sped up so much um, and yes I started off with pencils on the snack but I ended up using alcohol markers just so I got that. I suppose the variety of shades and you've got the very subtle green underneath and then you've got a slightly more bluey green. I kind of imagined one of those green tree snakes, you know, you see in photos and stuff that's just pure green, but it didn't I don't know, just that that much greenness seemed slightly too garish next to the red because the red is so very bright and of course red is danger and desire and temptation so that you've got this apple and then you've got this very subtle snake uh, and he's a good boy he's not causing anyone any harm he's just sort of having a little wriggle around uh, having a look at this apple and going hmm this is a good looking apple um, I mean it's just a metaphor really um, I'm not sure if I've done a particularly successful one. Oh, here I am trying to get the gold pen so this is a gold brush pen which I used for about two seconds because obviously I was getting too frustrated with it and I've tried to make the uh, oh yeah this is this is a brush pen as well but this is a black brush pen um, yeah ordered this one online 
cut it with. So I got a um, a thin, firm brush pen, and then I got this one, which is sort of medium smallish. Um, I do have a larger one as well, but the large one is just too large. It's just I don't know. I'd have to. I'd draw something either very very chunky or, uh, you know, use it to fill in and stuff. So yeah, I'm sort of dotting around some bits and bobs. Oh, this is me trying to put some gold, little gold flecks on the snack scales, just to say, you know, this isn't an ordinary snack. This is something special. Um, it's a bit subtle for the camera, but laughs like that sometimes. Oh, and uh, this is the white brush pen. I really wanted to use these brush pens. You can't tell, but I bought them and it was like I have to use them now. Just giving this a little bit of a lining, so it's more of a graphic rather than a realistic design. As I say, this is more about illustration than it is about uh, either art as such or uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to do something that was a bit unusual for me. I quite like it though. It's a pretty snake. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care.